Welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with Sketchbook Chat and today I am drawing some eyes, just practicing them because it's always good to practice different types and styles of eyes and different features of the face if you want to draw that kind of thing. So while I'm drawing that I want to talk a little bit about what's helped me as a YouTuber um, because when I started my art channel I have I've had my art channel for a year now and the first like eight months were really really slow on growth um, and a lot of people say that you know art like your channel is not about um, growing it or whatever you just do it for the fun but it's nice to have that extra bit of growth to kind of keep you motivated and keep you going. Um, so a lot of people have been complaining about how YouTube is different now and it's really hard to build your channel. Your channel seems to plateau, a plateau, 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 or it seems to uh, decline in growth and you lose subscribers and views and all that stuff. Um, so I have compiled a couple of things that seem to have boosted my followers and watch time and view count. Um, I, I don't know if this is just coincidence or if it's actually true but I decided to write down things that I've changed on my channel in the past two months that have made my channel go from 400 subscribers to a thousand. <laughs> um, it's not it's been about three months or something since it's been about 400 to 1,000 subscribers. So um, compared to what it was like before, obviously, like I said, eight months, uh, it took me eight months to get up to 400 subscribers. And a lot of other people in the art community have started their channel about the same time as me or before, like after me and gotten a lot more subscribers than me. Um, they network a lot and they um, do really good content basically and that's why they get a lot of subscribers. But anyway, so the first thing that I have uh, got that I changed was I started paying more attention to my titles, tags and descriptions and thumbnails. So I made sure that all of them were linked and that the same thing was in each. For example, make a video about a boy learning to ride a bike, right? So then you have the thumbnail of a boy on a bike and then the title, for example, four-year-old boy learns how to ride a bike or something along those lines. Um, four-year-old riding bike, no stabilizers. And then you put your art channel name, well, your channel name at the end. Um, then descriptions, you have to put in... Um, what the video is about like if you have all this consistency and somebody searches four-year-old learns how to ride a bike or something along those lines your video is more likely to show up in the search results because the channel description and the tags are all the same um so for your descriptions try not to write like demands like like this video and subscribe and all that stuff um although you know it works but in my experience, like, if I read a description, I'm reading it for the links um, to their Twitter account mostly, and then um, a little description on the video or just anything, like, music related or something like that. Um, if you see a video with the description just full of demands and links, it just kind of puts you off. So write a short paragraph about the video at the start and include as much information as possible but in a catchy way and then the links and then at the bottom write a short paragraph about your channel itself and yourself um take a look at my description and see what i have um i have wrote stuff about my channel and what i want to achieve on the channel and genuinely all of those extra words in the description acts as tags as well so if somebody ta like searches one of those words um, your video is again more likely to show up in their search results. Uh, take this all with a grain of salt by the way it might not work for you but like I said I changed my way of YouTube two months ago and it seems to work a lot better. My thumbnails kind of slack a little bit just because I'm lazy but um, everything else I try and keep on top of 
and end slates are important as well if you use the new system that they have on it where you can click the video that plays 20 seconds at the end those are really handy just to put in um, extra videos to watch or videos relating to that video or channel that's good as well so the tags make sure that they match up and um, because if they don't then it does like I say stop people from finding your video in the searches um, and if your video is tagged with something like say you are a art youtuber and you've tagged Bailey J in the description and then somebody sees your video because of the search results like they've clicked most recent or something and it comes up and then they click on it because they're like oh this video might have Bailey J in it and it turns out it's not then people are not going to want to subscribe to your channel because that's you lying about what's in your video it needs to have this, the right things in the video basically I hope this is making sense if you have any questions write down in the comments below um, so you would want your tags to be like four year old boy learns to ride bike no training wheels stabilizers teaching uh, your art channel uh, your channel name obviously if it might not be art but you know what I mean um, family vlogs daily vloggers vlogging lifestyle kids mm -hmm. and so on um, so that's my uh, two cents about that the next thing that I want to talk about is paying attention to your analytics and I don't mean like your subscribers or your views or whatever just take note of um, videos watched in the last 48 hours and stuff like that so download I highly suggest if you can download the studio app because it breaks it down into subcategories and sections it doesn't have all these bars and graphs it just has little, little numbers and percentages which is much easier to understand than all these little bar graphs and like subcategories and all this stuff so I recommend you download that and then go to analytics analytics and like I said take note of your last uh, 24 hour videos watched um, no, matter, no matter how little the views are um, like are older videos still being watched and then ask yourself why is it because that product that you're reviewing is um, really popular just now is it because people are curious about it is it because it's funny you know just things like that just ask yourself why and try and answer those questions are they still relevant um, interesting or entertaining um, you want to take note of top videos like top videos in the watch time minutes um, because that will give you a good idea of like what videos are being watched most on your channel and why so like i said why are they top what topics are you talking about in those videos and how can you implement the content into your new videos so i'm just taking example because this is an art channel i probably should use art examples i guess even though i was talking about riding a bike before um so for example, are you talking about a particular product, like a sketchbook, um, and people are searching De La Rooney sketchbook, for example. Um, if they are, then maybe you can incorporate that in your future video, like draw something in a De La Rooney sketchbook, and then have your tags be De La Rooney sketchbook. And then maybe people will watch it. But obviously you need to enjoy making the content that you're making and not just get caught up in it and not just make those videos just because it's in your analytics. Also, another thing to think about is are these topics trending? Because sometimes you might have done a video like ages ago, like a colouring book video, for example, like an adult colouring book video. And then all of a sudden they are trending. Like this happened to me months ago actually. Um, one of my first videos on my channel was a clearing book video. And then um, months and months later the trend kicked in. So I was getting a lot of searches from that one video and a lot of views on that one video. And I was like, why? <laughs> and it was because the 
trend and the craze had set in so I was before the craze but then the craze happened and then my video got more views but not as much views as a newer video would have got. My channel was made for art and sharing my art journey but I was positive that my channel would grow a lot more if I made colour book videos and um, I didn't want to just make these videos so that I had views. I wanted to make the videos because I enjoyed colour books anyway. I was doing them in my house on the dining room table. So I thought why not film this and get community involved. So people are watching my videos and then um, we can all talk about colour books. So um, as long as I enjoy colour books I will make more videos about colour books and people will still be searching colour books because it's a very hot topic right now. And then the next thing I want to talk about is the discovery tab. So uh, you go to discovery tab, external sources and then it would be how are your videos being found. Um, so is Twitter a low percentage? But it's there share more on Twitter like I share my videos mainly at night time and I forget to do it in the morning and sometimes people in the morning will not be on YouTube uh, on Twitter at night so they won't be able to see the you know the tweet so try and do it at least two times a day morning and night maybe once in the afternoon um, but share your video the next day as well um, if you see a lot of you bigger YouTubers, they'll share their video like until they bring an, another video out and then they'll share it even more. <laughs> so um, try not to spam people, but um, take into account where people are coming from on your channel. Um, are they coming from just searching your name? And I noticed this before as well that when I was... Um, looking through my analytics before I did all these changes nobody was searching for my name or at least the system wasn't picking it up but when I changed all this stuff and put my name in uh, titles I don't really do the titles anymore but I put my name in the description and tags um, the analytic for ALLJ art came up um, so yeah <laughs> it does it does work I think <laughs> trust me I don't know <laughs> I'm just going off what I have done and, and what seems to have worked and then my next and most important thing and I probably should have said this first but the biggest thing that has helped me is looking at my the biggest thing that has helped me is looking at my top searched terms in the last 28 days or the last 7 days or whatever you set it as. Um, this tells you what people are searching for that have videos relating to you. So if somebody has searched for like, I don't know, Spider-Man, let's say, and you haven't done a Spider-Man video, then the search term won't come up in your search term list. But if you have done a video about Batman, <laughs> then, um, and people are searching for Batman that month and they have clicked on your video, then it will show up in the search term. So it's not like the best um, representation of like what people are looking for to do with art channels because somebody's art channel top search term list will be completely different from yours. But it helps you see what videos people are actually enjoying and what people are actually wanting to know about. Um, so if you can make more videos that are a little bit different but on the same topic as the things that people are looking for, like I said in the last uh, little segment there, is, um, you know, that will help your channel a lot as well. So, for example, sketchbook calls. Um, I made a video of a sketchbook call and... Um, people are still searching for sketchbook hauls because they like them or like art supply hauls. Um, one of my most watched videos is an art supply haul and if I put out more art supply hauls then more people will find the video because they're already searching for that 
term on my channel or around my channel. So if you have bought more sketchbooks recently, then make a video about it. Sometimes we forget to do these things. Like I have a ton of sketchbooks that I've bought in the past and I've just put them on my shelf or I have just uh, opened them up and started using them right away. I should have done a, a sketchbook top haul for that. <laughs> Plus, I love watching those videos and making those videos. Anyway, I'm going to look at my um, analytics for a second just to just give you a little idea about um, the things that have helped me and stuff. So if you go on to your analytics and go to... And obviously, because I'm filming a video um, and I need it to load, <laughs> it won't. <laughs> It just, it just won't load. Oh my god. Okay, please. If it doesn't load, guys, close all of your applications and then go back in and it should reload itself. <laughs> the reason it's not loading, though, is because my Wi-Fi is miles away. Anyway, so uh, if I go on to... The dashboard, it'll come up with analytics right at the top and it'll give you an overview of that. But if you click that and go to discovery and then scroll down to top videos suggesting your content, that's a good one, or top YouTube search terms, that's what I want. So the top YouTube search terms I've had between the 22nd of June and the 19th of July is Scrollerbox and ALLG Art. Um, so... Uh, Scrollerbox is like 23% and then ALLJ Art is 2.6% but it's still there, right? So if I change it to the last 7 days it's 19% Scrollerbox and 9% Cullen, Colouring Book Tutorials. So um, it doesn't matter how low the percentage is, like if I scroll right down to the bottom there's like 0 0.4 of the Magical City Colouring Book but Cullen Colouring Book uh, tutorials are the same as the Magical City Colouring Book thing. Um, so, you know, there is a lot of value to be getting from that because I know now that people are still st searching for scroller box videos and they're still clicking on my sc scroller box videos. So if I could still afford scroller box and still wanted to do those videos, I definitely would because as well as having fun, I would um, be enjoying the, the videos as well as um, growing my channel. So I hope that made sense. Um, I think I talked a lot longer than I wanted to. I literally only wanted to talk for 15 minutes. But I hope that it helped some of you guys who are actually YouTubers. And um, if you're not a YouTuber and you just wanted to listen to me anyway, thank you, I guess, uh, for watching me sketch these little eyeballs. Um, please remember to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn that notification bell on so you get notified of all my videos that I post. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.